The story in a video game is one of the most important parts to make the players engaged into the game. In this video, we take a look at the top 10 games with the best stories of 2015. Number 10, Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori and the Blind Forest isn't your traditional big budget epic tale of trust and betrayal. No, rather it's the story of the title character Ori restoring a forest after a cataclysmic collapse. The main character in Ori is a great and likable character and makes for someone fantastic to spearhead the story. Moon Studios crafted an artistic and pleasing title in Ori and the Blind Forest and the story was good for the game. Number 9, Until Dawn. Supermassive Games created one of the surprise hits of 2015 that no one saw coming in Until Dawn and a big reason for the game's success was due to its story. It's an 80s horror movie in a game. Shut up. It's not a game where you are going to get emotionally invested, but for the bit of time that you will play the game, you will be engaged to the story. The choice making in the game adds a layer of depth to the story, and while it's not a narrative you'll remember for years to come, it's a well-told story for a single playthrough. Number 8, Metal Gear Solid 5. Yes, I know the story in Metal Gear Solid 5 is not up to par compared to the previous Metal Gear titles, but remember that the previous Metal Gear title set an extremely high bar to match, so not meeting it doesn't mean the story is complete garbage. The story in Metal Gear Solid 5 is very good. Big Boss has been in a coma for 9 years, now awoken, he embarks in a journey to Afghanistan seeking revenge. While the story is bare bones through the cutscenes that Metal Gear has been famous for, much of the story is told through cassette tapes and you will get much more out of the story listening to all of those. There is a story in Metal Gear Solid 5 and it is still much better than the majority of games these days. Number 7, Soma. Developed by Frictional who are buying Amnesia The Dark Descent, Soma is a science fiction survival horror game. In Soma, you play as Simon Jarrett, a man involved in a car accident. Due to the lingering effects of the accident, Simon agrees to a brain scan in a lab. He blacks out during the scan and wakes up in Pathos 2, an underwater remote research facility. Soma has a very unique story and thrives on a psychological narrative. Frictional did a terrific job with telling the story in Soma, and Soma is the evolution of horror games and for fans of horror games and unique storytelling, this is a must play. Number 6, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider is set one year after 2013's Tomb Raider. Lara has turned to her late father's research into a lost city and the promise of immortality. Tomb Raider has always thrived on having great gameplay and trust me, that's here in Rise of the Tomb Raider. But Rise of the Tomb Raider also has a really good story. The side characters still don't give much to like, but they also don't take up as much time. However, Rise of the Tomb Raider's cast is highlighted by a fantastic antagonist. I'll leave it at that to avoid spoilers, but outside of everything you'd expect out of a Tomb Raider game, in this one, expect a story that will keep you hooked until the end. Number 5, Pillars of Eternity. Developed by Obsidian, Pillars of Eternity was a game that was funded via Kickstarter back in 2012. With over $4 million raised, people are always a bit hesitant with Kickstarter games, but don't be with Pillars of Eternity. The game is fantastic and one of the shining elements of the game is the story. Pillars of Eternity takes place in the fantasy world of Aeora. Ambush. A nation has been planned in which newborns become hollowborn, meaning they are born with no soul. I won't go deeper than that to avoid spoilers, but Pillars of Eternity has a great story that also involves many choices to be made by the player. The ending varies depending on the different choices you make. Many are a bit scared off by Pillars of Eternity's visuals, but it's really not a big deal for an RPG like this. Pillars of Eternity still delivers big with its story. Number 4, StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. StarCraft 2 was released back in 2010 and it has finally come to an end with StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Legacy of the Void is a standalone expansion and while many think StarCraft is one of the most competitive games in the world, as a solid splash damage option with massive range. Able to outdistance. And it is, there's also a terrific story attached to the games, and that's no different with Legacy of the Void. The campaign concludes the StarCraft II trilogy and focuses on the Protoss, and more specifically, Artanis as the protagonist. The game delivers a fitting end to the story and it leaves fans of the series fulfilled. Even if you have no desire to ever play the competitive multiplayer of StarCraft II, it's still a game worth playing for its quality campaign. Keep in mind, if you want to play Legacy of the Void, you definitely want to first play StarCraft II, then Heart of the Swarm, and then check out Legacy of the Void. Number 3, Life is Strange. Life is Strange is a game that lives and dies based on its storytelling, so it's really hard to talk about the story and why it's amazing without giving away spoilers. Life is Strange is an episodic adventure game similar to the liking of Telltale's The Walking Dead games, and some would say it's just as good. Yeah,
The character development was excellent, the story built and built, and while the ending was polarizing, that doesn't take away from the fact that the story was excellent. If you're looking for a story-driven game, that's exactly what Life is Strange is. Number 2, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt serves as the conclusion to the story of the White Wolf Geralt of Rivia. And what a conclusion it was, The Witcher 3's story really has the feel of grandeur and to a scale that not many games can really match. Geralt is on a hunt to find his one-time ward Ciri before the Wild Hunt can. Witcher 3 had a terrific story, but the thing about The Witcher 3 is that it's not only the main story that's filled with quality, great characters, and immersive writing. Even the side quests will leave you engaged. The amount of quality content in The Witcher 3 is staggering, and the fact that CD Projekt Red was able to tell a story without it really getting muddled for that long is something remarkable. Witcher 3 has been considered by many as one of the best games of the year, and it wouldn't be The Witcher without the fantastic story, and Witcher 3 brings that in spades. Finally, number 1, Under. Undertale. Undertale is the biggest surprise hit of the year. I don't think anyone saw it coming with Undertale. Not even developer Toby Fox knew that people would like it so much. In Undertale, you play as a child as they travel the underground, a large secluded area underneath the surface of the earth. Undertale delivers in nearly every aspect, its writing is brilliant, the characters have been crafted so well. And while on the surface, Undertale does look like a humorous game, it does have a dark story and emotional moments to the game as well. It's a terrific game in so many ways and a big part of that is due to its stellar story and writing. Undertale is a game that everyone must play. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 games with the best stories of 2015. Let us know in the comment section down below if you agree, disagree, if we left a game off the list or if a game's too high, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.